lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. So today's class has been asked for by one of my subscribers. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do eight angle limb pose or asavrinkrasana. It's quite a tough posture. We're going to be using our biceps, triceps, mainly our core and also working our hips as well. This class isn't suitable for pregnancies and as always if you could consult with your doctor before participating that would be great. Without further ado, let's get started. Right, starting off, we're going to go straight into our lovely downward facing dog. So hands just underneath those shoulders. We're going to push those heels back to the floor, pushing our bottom tailbones, tailbones up towards the ceiling. Head and neck nice and relaxed and just stay here. Again, we're trying to build the strength up in those arms, just warm up those biceps and triceps and just stay there. Head and neck nice and relaxed. Just staying there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring the weight over those hands. We're going to go into our Chaturanga Dadasana. We're coming down, keeping ourselves a couple of inches off the floor, staying there for five, four, three, two, one. We're just going to go up into Pujangasana Cobra, shoulders back and down. And then lovely back up into Down Dog again, head and neck nice and relaxed. Now we need to warm our hips up in this posture, so we're going to bring the right foot through, right foot through. Now we're going to keep the heel up on that left foot. If you can, you're dropping down to the elbows on the mat. So just stay there, massive stretch. You'll understand later while we're doing this posture. You should feel your right glute stretching here, staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, put your tummy in. We're going to take that right leg back and we're going to swap those feet over and bring the left foot through to the outside of the left hand. So it's our lizard lunge again. You again, hands the mat. If you can, you're sinking all the way down to those elbows. And yet again, keeping the heel flex back on that right foot. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to take ourselves back up into down dog, head and neck nice and relaxed. From here, we're just going to simply drop down to those knees and have a little rest in child's pose for a moment. So nice and slowly, nice and slowly, up we come, we're just uncurling. Once we're up to seated, giving those shoulders a lovely roll, back and down. Okay, so we're going to pop our legs out in front. We're going to pick up our left leg. Now we're cradling this foot like a baby and this arm. So you're trying to tuck that foot into the crease of your right elbow and holding on to that left leg. And we're just doing a lovely gentle rock from side to side. So just let these, your joints warm up, be nice and flexible for this posture. Just staying there. Okay, so we're going to release that leg, pop it down. We're swapping over the leg. So the right foot goes in the crook, of the left elbow, clasping those hands, interlinking those fingers. And yet again, we're just rocking gently from side to side just to warm that side up. Just a few more breaths here. And then we're going to pop the leg back down. We're just going to sit in a nice wide triangle on our mats. We're going to take hold of the fleshy part of your bottom, pull it back. Okay, so we're sitting on those sitting bones. Keep the legs nice and straight. Flex those toes back towards you. We're extending the arms up to the ceiling and then we're coming forward and down, forward and down. So a big old stretch going on on the insides of those thighs. If you have trouble coming forward in this, get your hands slightly raised off the mat and just simply drop your head forward. You should find that gravity sinks you down a little bit further. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then up we come. We're going to take the soles of those feet together now. We're clasping the hands just below the base. The outside edges of those feet are on the floor and we're giving those knees a little wiggle up and down. Get again, we're trying to loosen up those hips for our posture. Just a few more wiggles there. And then when you're ready, we're just going to keep the hands where they are. We're dropping the elbows to the outsides of the calves. And we're trying to pull our nose down towards our toes. Staying there for 10, nine, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up we come. And we do a gentle wobble from side to side. So we're going to pop the legs out in front. We're going to do one last warm up on each side before we go into our eight angle limb pose. So what we're going to do here is a little bit similar to what we'll be doing in the posture. Now you're taking your left leg up. You're trying to get your hand as far behind that buttock as possible. Okay, and the hands are to the floor. Now, we're going to see if we can raise that right leg off the floor. You're pushing on that left leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. You should feel your core burning a little bit in that one. It means that we're warming up the muscles that we need to use for our later practice. So other side now, so yet again, you're trying to get your hand as far behind the buttock as possible. So you're resting this right leg on that tricep bicep of your arm, really pushing the hands into the mat, getting that leg up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Now, fingers crossed, we should be warmed up enough to go into our eight angle limb pose. Now, if you don't get this the first time, it's all about continuity of practice. So keep trying, keep trying, and eventually you'll get it, okay? It's a lot of work for the core. So at any point you feel like you've had enough of trying, then please stop and come back to it another time. Right, so very similar to our elephant's trunks pose that we were just doing a moment ago. We're going to take our left hand, okay, and we're popping it as far back behind that left buttock as we can, okay? Now your right hand sits just to the right side. From here, you're going to pop your right foot onto your left foot, right foot onto your left foot. I'll take it slowly so you've got some time to get into it. So yes, I know you are sitting upwards here, doesn't feel like we're going into the posture. Now, this is where the magic happens. So it's all about bringing your center of gravity forward. So what we're going to do, we're literally going to lean our body forward, okay? Now you should find that this, this leg is really pushing in to the top portion of your arm. That's where your stability is gonna come from. And we're literally lifting our body off the floor and we're coming forward and down. If you can, you're straightening those legs out, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and simply rock back, and there you go. So keep trying with that, don't quit, all right, keep having a try. You'll get there eventually, it's a lot of work for the core. We're just gonna have a little lie down and then Shavasana, I think we deserve it after that and just stay there. So just taking some nice deep breaths, inhaling, exhaling through the nostrils. We're going to bring the knees into the chest for a little hug and we're gently rocking from side side. As always, I'd expect you to do it on both sides. I was just showing you one side for the tutorial. And as I said, it's all about continuity of practice. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today for that eight angle limb pose. If there's any other classes or tutorials or balances you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you could like and subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.